Hi, this is Doug from DNB Digital Realm. Today I wanted to do a video on removing a gauge cluster, an instrument gauge cluster from a 69 or 70 Mustang. Now to do this, you are going to have to remove your dash. I already have a video I put out a while back on how to remove a dash from a 69 or 70 Mustang. Go ahead and look that up. It'll probably take you 20-30 minutes to do. It's not too, uh, too tricky of a job. And then once that's out, then you'll be able to get at this uh, instrument gauge cluster. I had removed mine because I was going to, uh, I did add some LED lights, uh, blue LED lights, and I also have a video out with that. Um, you can check that out. So that was the main reason why I was doing it. To be honest with you, once I took it off though, then I started getting into more things like I found that the uh, circuit board on the back of it was not in great shape. So I ended up replacing the circuit board and doing some other things. So it was a, it was definitely a good chance to um, put some work into the gauge cluster. Um, and so let's see. So the um, once the once things are out, once the once the dash is removed and you start to get into this gauge cluster, um, it's pretty much made of just removing a set of screws. And just by the way, uh, later in the video, I'm going to show everything in detail, and I'll give a step-by-step -step set of uh, pictures and instructions on how to do this. Um, but I'm just walking it through the um, the main thing you're doing is removing screws. You're moving a, uh, removing a single electric connection to the back of the circuit board, and you're removing the speedometer cable by removing a clip from that cable and sliding it out. And I think that summarizes getting it out. It's not too tricky. Um, the trickiest thing for sure was removing the pin or clip to the speedometer ga um, cable. And uh, that one that one took me a little while. So the next thing is I had meant to put this video out a while back. I um, So I saved some material when I had pulled my dash apart and the gauge cluster out. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't I didn't have all the material I wanted today when I was started to put this uh, video back together. And um, so it's uh, it's going to be both a uh, partial video I had done a while back, walking through things once, once the gauge cluster was out, and then some pictures with step-by-step -step instructions. I think it'll still provide you a lot of detail on how to get this job done. I couldn't find really any of this detailed material before I got into it. Um, so, of course, when I can't find that material, I always try to put something out there for everybody else and uh, make it easier for the next guy. And um, so if this video, of course, is useful to you, remember to like it. And if you want to see more, subscribe. All right, we'll, uh, we'll cut to the instructions. Okay, we have an instrument cluster for, uh, for a uh, 1969 Mustang. The uh, speedometer cable is disconnected and the electronics cable is disconnected. Though, uh, after you end up taking out all the screws, that uh, that's, ends up what's being uh, the last parts to be de detached. There's a little clip that goes around the speedometer cable to get this out, and then um, there's two ends that you pinch. You pinch this end and pinch this end, and this will come out. And, uh, and of course, after you've removed all the screws. So